So to turn our selection into a path, what we can do is we can go to the bottom left hand path panel. If you haven't got this panel up, go to window and click on paths. It might come under the same panel as layers, in which case it will just be another option here. But I've made sure I have a custom layout, so I've got my paths down here just because I prefer working like this. So to create our path from our selection, what we have to do is we have to press this icon here, which is a circle with four little squares on each side. And as you can see, it's now changed our selection into a path, which is very useful. Now, one of the things we have to be careful about when we're turning selections into paths is that it's not always 100% accurate. If I do a more complex selection, let me just click off of this path that we have. If I go to the text tool, which is right here, or the shortcut is T, and create a text, which is not this big. I'm just going to scale it down a bit. And if I now create a selection from this text by holding down Command or Control on Windows, and pressing on the thumbnail of the layer, like so, and now create a path. As you can see, if I zoom in a bit closer by using Command Plus or Control Plus for Windows, and the hand tool H to move it, as you can see, the path is no longer following the exact selection that we had. So this is because Photoshop is estimating where these paths should be going. So it's not always 100% accurate on the curves, which is something to look out for. If I quickly get rid of the sample text layer itself, you can see that the font isn't no longer in its uh, regular format. So it's just something to be aware of. It's not always going to be 100% accurate, but it is something cool that we can do, especially if you have very regular shapes like rectangles or squares, they're always going to come out perfectly. So it's just something we can use for a quick, simple fix. Now, the other thing we can do is we can actually turn our path into a selection. So we've already got this sample path here, which is here. If you, by the way, want to save your path, what you have to do is you have to drag the work path layer into the new layer option. And now you can see it's turned it into path one and this will no longer be deleted. So to turn this path into a selection, what we can do is we can go left from the option we just ticked, where you have this kind of circle with lots of dashes. And as you can see, by pressing on that, we now have a selection from our path. So paths are vectors, which means that when we change the size of our path, it won't change in resolution, it will stay just as sharp. However, if we enlarge a selection, of course, the resolution will drop around the edges and it will become distorted. Let me know in the comments below if you have any other tips or tricks that you'd like to share. Did I miss something else or do you think I got them all? Also remember to like this video and subscribe if you'd like to see more. I do have a whole playlist on the channel for Photoshop tutorials, so do check that out if you're interested in learning more.